good evening to all now in this uh, short video let us see about the overview of logistics and supply chain management so how uh, supply chain and uh, logistics management are related to each other so this is the overview of uh, supply chain network this we have already discussed in our previous video also like what is the uh, exact network of supply chain but when we see in this uh, picture in each and every stage from each and from one stage to the next stage what is actually happening is transportation which is nothing but logistics so whenever see from the bottom whenever the products move out of the vendor or the supplier or what we called as ports transportation is essential and uh, it needs to reach the warehousing then again through the transportation it needs it need it should reach the factory outlet sorry factory and uh, with the help of transportation it should reach the warehousing again so what is the difference between this warehousing and this warehousing is this is raw material storage and this is finished product storage after the product manufacture in the factory and from warehousing finished product warehousing the product will reach the customers again here also transportation plays a major role so see this arrow mark represents the information flows what is meant by this is from customer to the industry and also from industry to the customer the information flows will go so there is a separate uh, topic and now we can see only about the logistics and supply chain so logistics versus supply chain it is uh, the process of planning implementing and controlling the efficient uh, efficient storage of raw materials in process inventory and finished goods so uh, whenever we see uh, logistics and scm scm integration is very important so what is scm integration is integrating all the activities associated with the flow and the transformation of goods from raw materials to finished product stage and finally to the end user so this is common uh, contemporary logistics terms which are used in industries value stream or logistics process quick response and flexible manufacturing mass customization supply chain management that is collaborative logistics reverse logistics service logistics continuous replenishment so we have a replenishment cycle in fact in all the manufacturing industries lean logistics where all the lean principles are involved and integrated logistics which uh, coordinates and integrates all the activities related with transportation so this is uh, the mission of logistics and scm so what does what is called as mission so this is not a common thing uh, as mission but the concept of uh, uh, this slide is the mission of all the industries which uh, scm and logistics are involved majorly so getting the right goods or services to the right place at the right time and in the desired condition at the lowest cost and highest return on investment he says this is the common mission where uh, the supply chain and the logistics uh, plays a major role so right goods right place and in the right time in the good uh, condition that is the desired condition so whenever an industry plays a uh, uh, starts any manufacturing it is mainly focused on the return on investment what we call as roi so um, depending upon the product the industry manufactures and the profit what the industry gets uh, the return on investment is fixed by each and every industry so in some industries the return on investment period will be 3 years in some industry it, it is 1 year and in some industry it may be up to 5 years so if this return on investment period is uh, uh, is okay for them uh, the um, industry will go for the exact manufacturing so the second important thing is product and service utility how the products and the services are utilized that is possession utility form utility place utility and time utility so these four things are very essential for any manufacturing industry to have this mission to be fulfilled or achieved logistics obviously help time and place utility so this is the evolution of supply chain management that is uh, from 1960 to 2000 and now after 2000 uh, so this is these are all uh, the evolution of supply chain management stage by stage 
so demand this is, that this is not like uh, uh, this is this comes first and this comes second and this comes third it is not like that all these are process are involved in a um, orderly manner so demand forecasting purchasing of raw materials planning the requirements planning the production uh, process and uh, manufacturing inventory warehousing of both uh, raw materials as well as finished products materials handling packaging finished goods inventory uh, distribution planning, order processing, transportation, customer service, strategic planning, which we have seen in our first uh, video lecture in this series, strategic planning, information services, marketing, sales, and finance. So these are all, all, all the activity fragmentation, uh, which is involved in supply chain management. So materials management, physical distribution, logistics. So all these things are coordinated with logistics. So only we call logistics is very important in supply chain. So this is the schematic representation of uh, supply chain uh, activities. So finally, it is uh, the customer satisfaction or value or profitability, which we call as a competitive advantage. So this is the revised strategy in uh, generating great top management interest. So these are all some of the uh, key points to be noted. So this is the critical customer service loop. So inventory or supply stores through transportation it reaches to the customer. If it is not proper, again, the customer will return it to the supply source itself through transportation. The supply source is nothing but the manufacturing industries. So this is a, an, uh, a survey which we have taken uh, for transportation, warehousing, order entry, administration, total inventory carrying and so on. So logistics costs about 10% of the sales, uh, that is 10% of the total purchasing cost. So inbound supply costs also we have to take into consideration. This is customer service performance, uh, which, which can be determined uh, with the help of order cycle time. Uh, that is number of days uh, the industry is taking to complete the manufacturing of the product. Product availability, product availability uh, line items and so on. So so it, this is the traditional scope of supply chain uh, supply chain so in the traditional time what has actually happened is sources of supply through physical man supply that is materials management it reaches the plants or the operate operation unit through from there it reaches the customer so these two are called as the business logistics and the process involved in each stages these are all so all in all these things, the common thing is transportation, inventory maintenance in the form of raw material, in the form of finished product. Here also the order should be processed. Here also the order should be processed. Uh, materials handling, warehousing, and information maintenance. These are common in all the cases. So in our next video, we can see the key activities uh, and the logistics uh, strategy and the planning. Thank you.